What's up guys, welcome to Academy 3D. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom sheet. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit file and say new title block. For this one I'm going to use A3 metric, but if you're, but if you're following along in Imperial then go for it. I'll give you some units to use as examples or you can use your own. I recommend you use your own actually. <laughs> um, I'll just do an approximate conversion though if you insist. I'll say first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a border around this so I'm going to say line under the create tab and say pick lines I'm going to offset 500 uh, sorry five millimeters from the edge and in Imperial that would be 0 0.2 inches approximately I'm going to trim these because obviously they reach the edge. Uh, and actually, I've actually seen quite a few title blocks that don't have these borders. I personally like it because on the project I'm working on, I think it works well. Uh, but I think it should it works well on every every project. Um, just it's just nice to see a boundary. Anyway, create. I'm going back to create. Say lion. Now I'm going to create a rectangle. This one I want it to be 150 wide by 40 high. So in Imperial that's 6 inches wide approximately by 1.6 I think. Yeah, 1.6 inches high. I'm going to split this into four rows and two columns. So those numbers are good uh, for division. So I'm going to say line, pick lines, 40 divided by 4 is 10, of course. Oop, wrong side. It's fine, I'll just delete it. Oh, and actually pick, create, pick lines, and 75, because I know that the width of this is 150, so half of that is 75 mil. And in metric, that is half of six inches, approximately three inches. Great. Now I need to insert my company logo. I'll say insert and come to image. Um, and then navigate to where you've got an image of it saved. I'll use the PNG file. Actually, no, I won't. The, um, oops. I'll use the bitmap. It looks like it's a bit higher resolution. And just scale it down. I'm just going to keep a little one. There. Right. Next, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to add, I want to create text because I want to populate these with labels. So, as you can see, I only have 8 and 12 millimeters. That's a bit much. Um, they're a bit large. So, I want to create my new one. I'm going to say edit type, duplicate 8, and call it 2 millimeters. And then say text size 2, say OK. And just click there. And I'm going to call this one project oh, name. Yep. And I'm going to add a tag below that. Now, the sorry, not the tag. I'm going to add a label below that. Now labels adapt to the project. So if I was to change the name of the label in the sheet, it will change it for every single sheet in that project. Um, I'm just going to do this quickly, same as before, duplicate. This is the most important bit, the text size. And I'm just going to snap to parallel with that and click and say project name 
add parameter to label, say OK, and there you go. Got my project name. Just remember, if the project name is too wide, too large for this, it will overspill into the following rows. Right, so now I'm going to highlight them both and copy. Make sure multiple is selected. Yep, cool. Now I'm going to rename each one. So with this one, I'll rename it to client. Now the label needs to be edited also, because if I change this project name in the actual sheet, in the actual drawing that I'm making, all of these will change and adapt to that. Um, but I need them to um, adhere to their titles. So project name, I'll come back to edit label and change it to client because that's what it needs to be client name. now what I need to do is I need to add it and remove the last one don't just click it and say okay I did that a few times and it just kept it the same so I'll do that for this also project name uh, sorry it should be I need to change that to something and then change the label afterwards to suit but that's quite time consuming. Well, it's not time consuming, but there's no point you watching me do that. You've seen me do it for the second one. Here's one I made earlier. Um, you, can, you can populate it to look like that if you want, or make your own way. Now, um, what I need to do now is load this into a project. So I'm going to open a project this shared project. So I'll go back to this one and say load into project. No, I'm not going to save it actually. Now it's loaded in. I come to sheets, right click, new sheet, and there it is there. It's called family one because I haven't saved it yet. Oh, actually revision. Oh yeah, I haven't got a revision number for this. So now, any time I pop, now if I populate this, it will automatically change the properties of the drawing. So the drawing has all of this data saved in there. At the moment, it's not populated, so that's why they're blank and just saved as author. But when I change this, it will automatically change it for the project, and it will change on every consecutive sheet if required. So for example, project name is something that every single sheet is going to Every single sheet in this drawing is going to, the project name is something that is going to stay the same for all of them. So if I change that, it will change it on everything. So if I say shed. Right, actually, I'm going to create a new sheet just to show you the example. And then the client will stay the same also. Shed man slash woman oh we'll just say shed person whatever um but if i was to change something like drawn by to me it wouldn't necessarily change it on the other sheets it changes let me go to the other one you can see it's populated this automatically the shed name and the client name but it hasn't changed that because someone else may have drawn that so it's it's quite smart like that um, anyway I hope you enjoyed that video please do check the description below because I'm gonna show you how to I'm gonna make a video showing you how to create your own template file for a drawing that's very important in my opinion because yeah you could use the Autodesk standard one which is great but um, if you have your own custom one you can have this sheet preloaded into every single drawing that you make and it's, you'll have your own custom types of walls and things like that it's very important for someone for a person who owns a company um, every company should have their own template in my opinion 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe and follow.